More Houston Morning News with Matt Patrick now. KTRH News Time is 850, the CD Songs of December. First seasonal recording from the music icon Paul Anka in more than 50 years. He joins us this morning. Mr. Anka, welcome to Houston's Morning News, sir. Well, good morning to you, and it's Paul to you. Oh, thank you, Paul. It's, uh, and Matt to you, and Lois and I are very, very excited to have you with us. First time in 50 years you've sung uh, the Christmas songs. Yeah, well, I had one in uh, the late 50s when I started my teenage stuff, and I felt that was enough. And then as I evolved and got involved in so many other things, it wasn't a priority until now. And at this stage in my life where um, after Rock Swings, I wanted to do something a little different with Christmas songs that we'd all heard. So I got into this very lush and and, uh, very kind of special vibe that I hope that I've achieved and uh, taking songs that are primarily over a range and you've heard other ways and right. uh, I was inspired to do that. Paul, it is so beautiful and I have to ask you, how do you keep your voice sounding like it does? I mean, so many people, seriously, yeah. over the years, they, they they lose it. I mean, do you stay in some kind of vi- I'm just it's trying a to figure out what, what you keep. <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Is it yeah. a lifestyle for you? Well, you know, you start at 16 and you wind up with the, the Rat Pack and that whole mafia thing and working for those people. You, <laughs> you learn bad and you learn wow. good. Okay. Wow. And what I learned from Frank and Sam me, you know, who drank and smoked. They're always complaining about their throats. Mm-hmm. And I'm a kid who's really got lucky. And then the dream comes through and I'm saying to myself, how do I keep it going? And one of it was to just take care of my voice. That's my asset. And if you don't, you're in a lot of trouble. And I've been around a lot of artists that have abused it. And I just chose, like we all do in life, you make those choices. Every you know, choice that you make has a consequence. And mm-hmm. I wanted to live a certain lifestyle. I've never been a smoker. I've always exercised, and I've just taken a lot of respect for myself and integrity, and for my audience because you know they're paying to come and see you, and they're paying to listen to your music. You might as well be in good shape. Man, and you look good. I, I just I, I met you many many years ago, back in the eighties, and I swear to God, you look you haven't aged a bit. <laughs> well, uh, this body's not a fluke. You got to work <laughs> at it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know, it is it is great to have you on. I don't know if people really understand. You're in the the Songwriters Hall of Fame, and we we certainly know who Paul Anka is, but some of the music music that you've written, not just the music that you perform. Mm -hmm. And I was saying uh, before you came on, uh, the song My Way. I don't know how many people uh, realize that you wrote that song. And then uh, Frank and Elvis uh, both kind of made it their own. Yeah, well, it was, it, you know, Frank I'd always wanted written for, but I was always afraid to give him, you know, Lonely Boy and those kind of songs. And I knew he was retiring because I had dinner with him in Florida and he always teased me about writing for him. But knowing that he was quitting and my arranger I introduced him to, Don Costa, I said, they're doing one more album, then he's gone. So I ran home, wrote my way, sent it to him, and you know, brought him back out of retirement, and then I wrote Let Me Try Again for him. So I've written for a lot of people that I've respected, you know, from Tom Jones to Barbara Streisand. And, hey, Buddy Holly from, from yeah. your area. I wrote It Doesn't Matter Anymore, the last song he recorded. And that's always been the part of my life that I've kind of cherished because it's kind of separated me from the pack. I wasn't into the teen, I don't look good kind of thing because I was not, and... Uh, I went to where my strength was. But the writing part of my life throughout my life and the creative part have been very important for me. Well, you're also out there performing. I mean, you performed last night in New Jersey. You're Mm -hmm. in New York, North Carolina, Florida. I don't see any Houston dates right here, though, Paul. Uh, Yeah, I I was in Houston. Uh, I try to get there every couple of years. I've been to Mm -hmm. Houston. I've enjoyed it. I've... uh, I played that beautiful theater downtown. I have a lot of friends there. So I do get back, but I don't like to get back every nine months. I like to separate it. Uh, I've got other commitments. I've just finished touring all of Europe from Israel to Finland to Paris to Belgium. Then I go to Asia, and I've got tours going all the time, but I like to space it out. But Houston is always a favorite stop. We enjoy performing there. When you come back, show us that uh, show us that body that you're bragging about. Oh, and, uh... I wasn't bragging. I think you brought up the subject. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. something I don't brag about. Can, can I can I put you on the spot? Can you do sure. a little a cappella for us here, just a sure. little bit? Would you Would you mind? And I'll let you uh, choose uh, anyone you want. Uh, whether... The weather outside is frightful. But the fire is so delightful. Since we have no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. My God. David Foster gave us a great arrangement. On wow, that, that is track. fantastic. Yeah. And, and that really is, uh, Paul, that, that's what you've tried to do with the uh, Songs of December CD. I mean, you've really arranged these, like you said. I, I, some of these songs, I, I look and I think, oh, my God, I don't know if I can hear that again. Then I hear you do it. 
and it is just it takes it to a whole different place. Well, that was what what was motivating. I didn't want to just do you know what you hear with the bells and whistles and choirs and all that stuff. And they're great songs. If you let them live first and and put the arrangements around them, then they're going to really sing out, and you'll get that feeling. I didn't want people leaping out of the chair at track two and going to nine because they didn't like what's in the middle. So I went out of my way to really get that mood from a to B, to C, to D. Well, we're going to play a little bit of this as uh, we take it out. Uh, Mr. Ranka, I want to thank you so much, not only for what you've done on this CD, but what you've done for us throughout your entire career. Hurry back to Houston, my friend. Thank you so much, Matt. Thanks. <laughs> 